Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Sing we joyous all together. Fa la 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 la. Heave us of the wind and weather. Fa la 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 la. There you are, Basil. There's the infant Jesus, yeah. Mary, Joseph, and the three kings. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, that's beautiful, Mr. Roy. You know, Mr. Roy, I go all misty-eyed when I look at that little crib. Yeah. It makes you realise what Christmas really is all about, doesn't it? You're right, Basil. Yeah. Oh, but Christmas is a happy time, though, isn't it? Oh, yes. <laughs> Do you remember that party we had last year? <laughs> yeah, our oh. producer enjoyed himself, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he certainly did. Cool. The last I saw of him, he was getting into a grandfather's clock to phone for a taxi. <laughs> he got one, too. <laughs> He'll be with us again this year, you know. Huh? We're having him for Christmas dinner. Well, it'll make a change from turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you say you bought this Indian carpet from? Oh, it's in the, in the street market from an Indian gentleman. Yeah? It's real Indian craftsmanship, you know. No, I doubt it. Huh? It's probably made in High Wycombe or somewhere like that. Well, that's in India, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, anyway, it shouldn't be on the table, Basil. The floor's a place for a carpet. This carpet's too nice to go on the floor. Anyway, I need something to sit on after what you did to me. Four. Fancy leaving a bunch of holly on a chair. Four. <laughs> oh, agony it was. Well, it serves you right. You should look before you sit down. Yeah. You felt that, didn't you? Of course I felt it. I'm not a dead-end kid, you know. <laughs> oh, by the way. Yeah? I brought you a book. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's fair. Now, what is it? What is it? Fairy tales and nursery rhymes. All oh. sorts of entertaining anecdotes. Entertaining nanny goats? <laughs> that should be good for the kids. <laughs> Not nanny goats, anecdotes. An anecdote is a short tale. Hey, look. Uh, Tinker's wagging his anecdote. <laughs> quiet, Tinker, quiet. Shut your little puddin' shoot. That's right. <laughs> Hey, I see there's a special exhibition of fairy tale characters and storybook people at the Waxworks this week. Really? You fancy going to see it? Oh, yes, marvellous. Come on, get your coat on. Come on, come on, what come do you on. Mean, get your coat on. It doesn't start till Christmas Eve. And anyway, you know we've got visitors coming in a minute. Oh, yes, I know. I hope that Mrs. Brown doesn't try to kiss me under the mistletoe. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather go to the Waxworks. I said I'd take you on Christmas Eve. Oh, thanks, Phil. Now, that'll be the visitors. Oh, is it? Remember what I told you? Yeah. Behave yourself. I'll behave myself. Right. right. Fancy having to wait until Christmas Eve to go to the waxworks. I might not feel like it then. I mean, Swiss. Wish I could go now. <laughs> cool. Hey, Mr. Roy, what's happened to you? You've been transistorized. <laughs> cool. I told you not to go out in the rain. You shrunk. <laughs> I'm not Mr. Roy, Basil. Huh? I'm Peter, the Pied Piper of Hamelin. Not the Peter Piper, who pecked a pick a pocket pickled, packed a pick a peppercorn. <laughs> oh, well, you know what I mean. Yes, I do. But I'm not the Peter Piper who picked a peck of pickled peppercorn. Hey, can you teach me to say that? Oh, I, I always get me pipples mixed up with me peckles. I could, yeah. if that's your wish, yes. because you are sitting on a magic carpet. Am I? Oh, I say, I won't get a David Nixon fluence up me brush, will I? No. Huh? But anyone who makes a wish while sitting on that carpet yeah. has the wish come true. But it only works once. Oh, I wish I'd known. Why? What would you have wished? Ten more wishes. <laughs> I'm here to grant the wish you did make. I've forgotten what it was. You wished to visit the waxwork land of fairy tale and nursery rhyme. Yeah. And with my magic pipe, I can bring your wish to life. Oh. You coming, Basil? Yes, I'm coming, Mr. Roy. I mean, Mr. Peter. Give us a toot on your flute. <laughs> right, Basil. Follow yeah. the pipe. Yeah. Uh, hang on. I can't get my uh, carpet motor started. Hurry up, Basil! Cool. Uh, Righty ho! Uh, I've got my engine running. Chocks away! Hold tight, take a ticket. What a marvelous sensation! Oh, I feel like Mary Poppins. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you all right, Ticker? You little Sky Terrier, you. <laughs> oh, look. Look, there's Trafalgar Square. I wonder if there's any pigeons down there. I could not get my own back. <laughs> oh, hello. I think I'm going to land. Fasten your seat belts. Everybody belt up. Under felt down. Whee! Oh. Oh. I 
see. Where am I? It is half dark. Where's the pie-eyed piper? You there, Mr. Peter? Here I am, Basil. Oh, come on in. Oh, oh, oh uh, 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 yes, uh, hold on. Uh, hey, I'm going all unnecessary. Uh, I'm fading away. I'm not an old <laughs> <laughs> You've arrived. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Roy. Oh, I must have fallen asleep. I'm not Mr. Roy. I'm the Pied Piper, remember? Oh. And you wish to visit the land of fairy tale and nursery rhyme. Oh, yes, the waxworks. Cool. It's a bit spooky in here, isn't it? Not for long. No. Watch this. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that. The waxworks are coming to life. Cool. Waxworks? Waxworks? He thinks that we are fingers made of clay. Oh. We're imaginary, it's true, but we're just as real as you when we have our parties oh. every Christmas day. <laughs> party? Oh, you have a party at the Waxworks? Of course we do, Basil. Look! Oh, look at that! What a super Christmas tree! Even in the land of make-believe It's Christmas time In the realm of pantomime And the world of nursery rhyme Every year we meet and celebrate Our Christmas day In the old traditional way Make it happy, make it gay He's coming to pay her call And for a start He's promised there's a party Everybody's gonna have a ball Even in the land of make-believe It's Christmas time And we'll enjoy it in a hundred different ways On the happiest of happy Christmas days Mr. Roy. Oh. Peter! I'm sorry, Mr. Peter. Hey, I seem to recognise that gentleman with the bow and arrow. Hmm? It's not Dan Archer, is it? <laughs> no, that's Robin Hood. Oh, well, of course it is. Uh, I see. Hmm? He was a robber, wasn't he? That's right, a robber. Uh, not a baddie. Oh, no, a goodie. Yeah, a goodie baddie. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. I just said it. <laughs> he wasn't really a baddie because he only robbed the rich. And do you know why he only robbed the rich? Yes, because the poor didn't have anything worth pinching. <laughs> You sure you're not Mr. Roy? He's a compulsive hooter grabber too, you know. <laughs> he robbed the rich to feed the poor. Oh, yeah. And every Christmas time, he'd give the poor people of Nottingham a big feast in Sherwood Forest. Did they have any jelly? No, they didn't have any jelly in those days. No jelly? What a rotten old party. No, he used to roast one of the king's stags. Oh, it was a stag party. <laughs> no, he'd roast a stag, you know, deer. I see. Hmm? I'd rather you didn't call me deer. People talk, you know. <laughs> hey, hmm? who's that with Robin Hood? The one in the maxi skirt and the haircut with a hole in it. Ah, that's Friar Tuck. He lives with Robin in Sherwood Forest. That's it. Friar Tuck and Robin Hood, they have a hideout in the wood. They celebrate the Christmas like you and me with a little bit of tinsel on the old oak tree. A little bit of tinsel on the old oak tree. Very good to the poor was Robin Hood. He let him have a nipple and his Christmas good. But the sheriff of Nottingham was very bad. Well, he won't get any pudding and it serves him glad. <laughs> oh, I say, Mr. Peter, hmm? do you think I could have one of those pies? I'm starving. Well, you can have a pie if you like, but I don't think you'd enjoy it. Oh. They're made of wax. Wax pies? Mm. <laughs> You only become real if Simple Simon gets one, and oh. that's not very often. Oh, I see. Simple Simon met a pirate going to the fair. He fixed his eyes upon the pies with a very hungry stare. Simple Simon asked the pirate on his way to school. What have you there? And the pirate answered, 
pies, you silly fool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Pieman, go on. Don't be mingy. Give him a pie. Thank you, Basil. Ah, oh, you're welcome, Simon. He's not as simple as he looks, is he? <laughs> for Christmas. Ever since I was a baby, I've had lots and lots of eggs. But I've never, never, ever seen an Easter egg with legs. An Easter egg with legs. An Easter egg with legs. He thinks our Humpty Dumpty is an Easter egg with legs. <laughs> <laughs> That's not an Easter egg, Basil. That's Humpty Dumpty. Really? Come and have a look at him. Oh! Hello, Humpty. That's a nice tune, isn't it? Oh. Yumpty Dumpty 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 Yumpty Dumpty 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 Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Yumpty Dumpty 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 Humpty Dumpty had a great ball. Yumpty Dumpty 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 All the king's horses and all the king's men. Yumpty Dumpty 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 Boom, boom, Humpty Dumpty together again. Yumpty dumpty 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 don't worry, Basil. Humpty Dumpty will be all right. He's been falling off that wall for hundreds of years. He must be getting sick and tired of it. <laughs> Ooh, well, he rings though. That ought to be sharp enough. I say, look at that chopper. What a whopper. Basil, meet Jack. Oh. Now, he's just grown the biggest beanstalk in the world. Really? Percy Thrower will be livid. <laughs> What's that for, Jack? Gonna do your Christmas chopping. <laughs> Gonna do your Christmas chopping. Boom, boom. Well, don't commit me with that. I haven't, I haven't got time for shopping, my old beauty. Oh. I got more important things to do than that. I got a date and I mustn't be late to clobber that horrible giant. He's tall as the sky, but he doesn't scare eyes. Doesn't he sound defiant? Yes, he certainly sounds defiant. Up the beanstalk I shall climb. Yes. And when I get up to the top of it, I'm gonna give that giant a terrible time. I'm going to clobber the giant. He's going to, going to, going to, going to, going to, going to, going to clobber the giant. Muscles in places where most people haven't even got places. <laughs> yeah, he's a great character, our Jack. Yeah. Always on top of the world, always full of beans. Like my cousin Cyril, he's always full of beans. Ah, you mean he loves life? No, he loves beans. Go, <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, I say, your budgie's escaped. That's not a budgie, young fella. Huh? That's Polly. Pretty Polly, pretty Polly. Oh, I <laughs> say, what a jolly Polly. <laughs> <laughs> What's he say? Shut me face. Cool. Polly wants a cracker. Polly wants a cracker. Polly will get a punch up the beak in a minute. <laughs> there was many a time on my desert island when I nearly ate old Polly. Ate your parrot? Aye. There wasn't much to eat on that island. Yeah. I could have done with a beanstalk like Jack. Cool. I could have done with a few of those beans when I was a castaway, sir. It wasn't much fun on a diet of sun and coconuts every day, sir. I didn't have the beans to cultivate beans like Jack the Giant Killer. But I knew what you fed your parrots on. What? Polyphila. Yes, <laughs> Polyphila. Oh, dear. Hey, Mr. Peter, hmm? look over there. Is that one of the giant's boots? No, that's somebody's house. Is it? Come and have a look at it. Oh, yes. God, this is a house. What? How can anybody live in here? It gets soaked to the skin. The rain would come in through the lace holes. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder when they last had the floor sold and healed. <laughs> you noticed anything strange and unusual about this house? Well, what's strange and unusual about it? No television aerial. They haven't got television. <laughs> haven't got television? What do they do when they haven't got anything to do? And who's that? Ah, that's the old woman who lives in the shoe. Ah, good evening, madam. There's the old lady who lives in the shoe. She had 
so many children, she didn't know what to do. So she gave up playing bingo, cause she couldn't make it pay. And took dancing lessons from Fred Astaire, to pass the time away. Doesn't she move well? <laughs> A, B, B, C. Hey, B, B, C? I thought you said they didn't have television. She's learning her alphabet, Basil. Oh. Is this your homework? Having a bit of trouble with your alphabet, aren't you? And your spelling. <laughs> Let's see how you can spell weather. W. Very yeah. good. E. That's right. V, E, R. W, E, V, E, R? That's the worst spell of weather we've had for years. <laughs> All right, if you're so clever, yes. let me hear you spell Christmas. Christmas? Dead easy. Mm -hmm. K? What do you mean, K? Well, I knew it couldn't be B. I know a really easy way to spell Christmas. Do you want to hear it? Oh, yes, yes. <clears throat> C is for the candy trimmed around the Christmas tree. H is for the happiness with all the family. R is for the reindeer prancing by the window pane. I is for the icing on the cake as sweet as sugar cane. S is for the stocking on the chimney wall. T is for the toys beneath the tree so tall. M is for the mistletoe where everyone is kissed. A is for the angels who make up the Christmas list. S is for old Santa who makes every kid his pet. Be good and he'll bring you everything in your Christmas alphabet. S is for old Santa who makes every kid his pet. Be good and he'll bring you everything in your Christmas my goodness me, it's quite dark in this little copse. Time of the year, I suppose. Seems to get late very early these days. Oh, I hope there aren't any robbers in this copse. <laughs> Cops and robbers. <laughs> Cops and robbers! Boom! What's that? It's the padding of feet. I've heard their foot pads in these woods. Someone's coming. Dressed in red. It can't be Father Christmas unless he's had a shave. <laughs> hello, Red Riding Hood. Oh, hello, Mr. Wolf. Wolf? I'm not a blooming wolf. <laughs> what a big nose you've got. What do you mean, big nose? <laughs> blooming cheek. I'm not a wolf, madam. I'm Basil Blush at your service. I'm sorry, Basil. I didn't recognize you in this light. I say you're taking some groceries to your granny. Yes, and they're very expensive. I know. When my landlady goes shopping, she carries the money in a shopping bag and brings the groceries home in a purse. <laughs> <laughs> I must go. Granny will be oh. waiting. Bye-bye, oh. Basil. Uh, goodbye, Red Riding Hood. Be good. How good Red Riding Hood. That means so very good. And still kept the wolf from the door. Turned up yet? 
No, but one day, Basil. Have you seen my little ones? I didn't even know you were married. <laughs> Me, my little friends. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ho, hey, ho, up to work we have to go. Hey, ho, 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 hey, ho. Where did they come from, Miss Snow White? Well, originally from Fairyland. Cool, oh, little hairy fairies. <laughs> <laughs> You've not met them yet, have you, Basil? No, I haven't. How do you do, 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 do? This is Bobby yes. and Nobby oh. and Marmaduke and Ned oh. and Charlie and Cyril and this is little Fred. Fred. They're happy little fellas. Yes, so I've been told. Seven tiny people and they've all got hearts of gold. Seven tiny people and they've all got hearts of gold. Oh, oh, oh. Nice one, Cyril. Nice one, son. Nice one, Cyril. Let's have another one. Well, here we are, Basil. Yeah. Welcome to Father Christmas's workshop. Oh, cool, by you, Mr. Peter. They are busy, aren't they? Well, there's a lot to do before Christmas. I see. I hope they packed up something for me. Why, what are you expecting to get this year? Same as I got last Christmas, indigestion. Cool. <laughs> it wasn't half good, that Christmas pud. Mm. <laughs> I see, Mr. Peter, look at little Nobby. Oh, he's a very hard worker, isn't he? Yeah, he's very good with his hands. Yeah. But we've got to have good craftsmen to make yeah. those toys strong. Oh, yes. Because, unfortunately, some of the children are very destructive, you know. Are they? That's why we've got to make a lot of unbreakable toys like this. Oh, I bought my nephew an unbreakable toy last year. Mm. He used it to break all his other toys. <laughs> <laughs> now, this talking doll is very yeah. popular with the little girls, Basil. Really? Hello, Basil Brush. Oh, that's jolly good. Hello. Dolly, well, hello, Dolly. <laughs> la, la, la. Hello, doggy. Hello, <laughs> All right, Dicker. There's no need to do your little doggy nut. Oops. Be quiet. That's a little bit. That's it. Oh, hey, I've got ringing in my ears. No, Basil. It's the sleigh bells ringing. Really? Father Christmas, yeah, he's come to make a collection. Oh, lovely. Look, oh. see? What? Reindeer. Here, I told you, Mr. Peter, don't call me dear. <laughs> it's snowy, not reindeer. I mean, Father Christmas is reindeer. Oh. Hello, Rudolph. Hey, look, it's a horse with a television aerial on its box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, look. Go, oh, I've got an icy blast up me brush. Shut that door. Hello, Pied Piper. Oh. My goodness, it's cold out there tonight. Oh. But I mustn't stand chatting. Now, we've got lots to do. Yes. Now, what are the toys we've got to pack? Oh. Oh, Bobby, uh, get a box to pack this fox. Uh, I... Strange. I don't remember this toy. Toy? I'm not a blooming toy. I'm a boy. Goodness gracious me. What? I'm sorry, young man. I, I'm completely sorry. Where did you come from? The fairies brought me. Uh, I've heard that somewhere before. <laughs> My waxworks friends told me I could meet Santa Claus. Have you had any good letters lately? Mine, for instance, Basil Brush. Basil Brush? Yes. I'll, I'll just see. Let me it's see. Under now. The, bees, the bees. The bees. Yes, Look under bees, the bees. Of course. Bee Not bear. the flowers, the bees. Billy, Billy. Basil Brush? Yes. A funny thing, we don't seem to have you on our list. Not on the list? But I always try to behave myself, and I try not to be selfish. I mean, if there's only enough castor oil for one, I always let my little brother have it. It's all right, Father Christmas. I'll put him on the list. He's not a bad little chap. Oh, really. thanks very much, Mr. Peter. Come along, everybody. Let's get my sleigh loaded. Yes. Now, I'll manage some of the things. Yes. I've got the sack. Got the sack? Yes. You can't get the sack on Christmas Eve. Oh. I'll check the list for you, Father Christmas. Uh, 10,000 train sets. 10,000 train sets, yes. 2,000 bicycles. 2,000 two bicycles. 300 rocking horses. Oh, a lot of horses. 300 rocking horses. 700 dolly babies. Oh, 700. I say, can I have some of those for Christmas? I love them. 
You, a boy, wants a dolly baby? Oh, no, 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 no. I thought it said jelly babies. <laughs> well, that, that seems to be right. See you again tomorrow. Yes. Behave yourself, young man, and next week I'll be coming down your chimney. You'll have a job coming down that pipe. We've got gas. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Pied Piper. Oh. Goodbye, Basil. Goodbye, Father Christmas. See you on Wednesday. Oh. Right, let's get the production started again. Oh, I'll give you a hand, Mr. 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 Peter. <laughs> Everybody back to work! In Father Christmas's workshop, we're working overtime. We must be ready when Santa leaves. To fill up our local Christmas Eve. For dog and toys and cuddly dogs. And teddy bears and collie wops. I've walked a car, a jumping jack, ready to go into Santa's sack. And Santa Claus will soon be on his way. Driving a sleigh across the snow. There's only a couple of days to go. We haven't got time to strike you. <laughs> we must be ready for Christmas Day! Hey, Basil, wake up! Wake up! Come on, Basil, wake up! Wake up! What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? Oh, hello, Mr. Peter! I'm sorry, I fell asleep. Cool. Hey. Miss Bobby and Nobby and all the other little fellows. What other little fellows? And I'm not Mr. Peter, I'm Mr. Roy. I wish you'd make your mind up. Come on, everybody. What? <laughs> Who's this? Go! Hey, hello, Santa. Snow White. Oh, hello, Friar Tuck. Dick Whittington. Oh, hello, Jack. Go, I say. Dick go. Whittington? <laughs> What's the matter with you? Have you been dreaming? I suppose I must have been. I say, Mr. Roy, yeah? do you suppose they have Christmas in uh, Storybook Land? Yeah, of course they do. Everybody celebrates Christmas time, don't uh, they? Oh, they go. Even in the land of make-believe, it's Christmas time in the realm of pantomime and the world of nursery rhyme. Every year they meet and celebrate their Christmas day in the old traditional way. They make it happy, make it gay. Christmas Eve, dear old Santa Claus is going to pay a call. Then on Christmas morning, and they finish short, everybody's gonna have a ball. All around the world they're celebrating Christmas time. May you enjoy it. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs>